Rubio hoping to avoid surgery. Right now, just trying to avoid losing 3 0. And he did not do that. Kurt Abbott trots home on the Conine single. More trouble in the fourth. Mm. A wild pitch. Russ Mormon. Russ Mormon goes to second. Forever young. Then facing the pitcher, David Weathers slashes it down the line. Well, nearly down the line. Mormon, they're not going to get him. 4 0 Marlins. Rio goes after four. But Weathers is the story against Eddie Tobinsey upstairs and have a seat. No hitter through five. But then in the sixth, Charles Johnson on first. David can't bunt. Nailed in the pinky and oh, cut away from this. He's gushing blood all over the nice clean AstroTurf. Get away. They had to take him out of the game. Terry Matthews comes in in relief, had a no hitter, gave it away, but still got Reggie Sanders with a check swing. The solo uh, highlight for the Reds was the wow. solo blast from Eric Anthony, who this time last week had none this year. It landed eventually off the fascia. The Marlins win 5-1. to one. As to Mr. Rio, he said afterwards he felt no pain in his troublesome elbow. That was supposed to be the make-or-break start. As to Weathers, seven stitches. Here he is, Basio and Jim Edmonds. Uh-oh. Kick save and a beauty. But Doug Strange makes the play at first. Basio would have to leave two innings later with stiffness in the leg and because he got a contract as a hockey goaltender. Now Bosky's in trouble, bottom two. Mariners have runners at first and second. Gary Thurman back in the big show. Doubles to right, Strange scores, one nothing Mariners. Tied at two in the third. Man at second, J.T. Snow eludes the infield. Now here, watch the play. They're not gonna get Greg Myers. Uh, well, no, he got himself, thank you. He was safe, but possibly injured. 3-2 Angels. 7-5 in the ninth, Lee Smith with two runners on. Doug Strange pops it up real hard. Tony Phillips, forward, 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 backwards, game over. 19th consecutive save, 19 on the season for Big Lee Arthur. And Jim Edmonds' batting streak is extended now to 19 games, coincidentally. For the record, the full alphabetical list of all 14,303 guys includes Rick Bassetti, Basio, Bosky, Thad Bosley. He's good. Vaughn Eshelman serves up the home run. Three-run homer, sixth on the year for Cal. This is Oriole Cam. Orioles go up 5-0. Third inning, Sox threatening two men aboard. Arthur Rhodes against John Valentin. And he gets the a check swing. It's a woo. Then it's Mo Vaughn at the plate, and he gets a woo as well. Vaughn, end of the inning, and the threat. Third inning, Greg Zahn. That's Greg Zahn, first major league hit, brings in Kevin Bass, Jeff Manto, 7 nothing Orioles, only bright spot for Boston, fourth inning, Jose Canseco at the plate, and he fools everybody. Nobody's sure where it went, we just know it went deep, and it was not playable, it's somewhere around there, 7-1 Orioles, the onslaught continued, Frankie Rodriguez, he's supposed to be the new closer, Rafael Palmero, the RBI single, 10-1 Orioles, Arthur Rhodes, Arthur, Arthur, I was talking to you, Arthur. He gets the win. As uh, Greg's on, by the way, Rick Dempsey's nephew. That's the paper, is it? These highlights are fresh, though. Top of the first, Larry Walker hits the ball real hard off Scott Sanders over the palm trees, and it's 2 nothing Rockies with a man on board. And then Dante Bichette gets it backwards, uh, acknowledges the applause from the fans, then catches the ball. No, no, the other way around. Still two zip in the third. Bases loaded. One out. Vinny Castilla. Oh, full extension. Jody Reed. And he gets the double play. 4-6 if you're scoring at home. Or even, in, you know. Sixth inning. Here's Gattaraga. There goes Gattaraga. It was a 2-1 game. It is now a 4-1 game. He hit that one pretty hard. Then in the next inning, the seventh inning, he hit this one a little bit harder off Willie Blair. That would be his 11th homer of the year. Rockies up 6-1. Then in the top eighth off Fernando. Lift off, we have lift off. Into the second deck, maybe the third or fourth longest homer ever at Jack Murphy. Three innings, three homers. Top of the ninth, Larry Walker up with two men out and Gataraga on deck. Walker strikes out and history we'll never know about because Gataraga did not come up for the fourth consecutive opportunity. Never got it. He'll have to be satisfied with tying a major league record, becoming the fourth guy ever to do three in three innings. The big cat had been on a slump that had seen him hit just 154 in his last 10 games. This is now over. Career highs with the three homers and the seven RBI, and the Rockies held on to their part of first. Up one nothing. Bottom of the second, first and second. Martinez is a play at third against Kruk, especially when everybody froze like that, but went to first to get Durham instead. The next hitter is Lavalier, ground ball, shortstop. Kruk breaks. And scores. 2-0 Sox. I was out on strike for eight months. That was a hell of a walk. 
Indians come back. Bayerga rips one into the corner, and here comes Omar Vizquel. Two to one. Bayerga would then score to tie it at two. Albert Bell had problems Saturday in the outfield, redeemed himself, and then some safe. But Warren Newsom is out. Then later with Frank Thomas on second. It's a long fly ball off the bat. The Ventura, and back goes Bell. Oh, what a catch. And he didn't fall down. Martinez starting with Sharp. Nice pitch to Durham. The next batter is Lavalier. Have a seat, Spanky. Take your gang with you. Martinez leaves after seven. In the eighth, two on, two out. Tie. Ventura off his former teammate, Paul Ossenmacher, literally. Lance Johnson breaks with the plate and has got it. First earned run off the ex sock Ossenmacher this year. Chicago wins 3-2. to two. Scott Radinsky finishes up his first save. Two outs, two men aboard for Ryan Thompson. The little dribbler, Joe Orsalak, coming plateward. He will score. The ball keeps rolling. Next batter, Jeff Kent, who has been and Fuego. Rico Bronia scores. Mets take a 2-0 lead on Maddox. Maddox would settle down. He's one of the best athletes in the game. Gold Glover, Blauser hangs tough at second, turns the 1-6-3 double play. The rains came an hour and six minutes later. Maddox back on the mound. Trying to slide, trying to tackle, trying to do something to prevent Todd Hunley from getting to first. Hunley wasn't pleased. Maddox says, I hurt my rear end. Then watch Rafael Belliard starting for Mark Lemke. Belliard goes airborne for the 4-3 put out on Rico Bronia. The Braves tied the game at two. Then in the fifth, Ryan Klesko, biggest hit of the game, waits on the breaking ball, brings in Dave Justice. Braves win 4-2. Maddox, his fifth straight decision. I guess you can say he scattered 10 hits. Harness dropped his third straight. The Braves are the only National League team yet to be shut out this season. The Phils needed to win in St. Louis to stay five up on the Braves. Charlie Hayes, top third, two men aboard, gone. Well, hit. Yes, it is. Tom Urbani gives it up, fills up 4 0. Bottom four, Tyler Green. Having a tremendous rookie season, helping himself out at the plate, the RBI double. 5 0 fills. If not for Hidale Nomo, you'd be hearing about Tyler Green as the top rookie pitcher. Green pitching well, getting the whiff. Langford again. Langford again. Jim Fergosi pulls Green after eight and two thirds. Bases loaded. Heathcliff Slocum in for the final out, facing Bernard Gilkey, the pinch hitter. Slocum with 18 saves, gives up the base hit. The cards would make it 5-3. Two runs come in, Green looking on. Trip Cromer, the whiff. Slocum gets his 19th, leads the National League. The Phillies win, everybody's happy. Green, who leads the majors with four complete games, came with... Oh, this. Top of the first for Joe Carter, who homered on Saturday and homered on Sunday off Sterling Hitchcock. It's a nightmare. Carter's eighth of the year, and the Jays are up two to nothing. Can they break the losing streak? One problem, Pat Henkin has loaded the bases in the fourth, and he's tied at two, and he's facing Randy Bellardi, and he just walked him inside. Seven walks, eight hits in six and two-thirds. The Yankees are leading 3-2. Bottom five, they're threatening again. Paul O'Neill is Joe Carter a one-man team? He thinks he has to be. He dives on that one. Bog scores. Deion James just back from Japan or somewhere. Also scored. Then Carter injured his neck, had to leave the game. Meanwhile, this just in. This just in. The Devils have moved to Yankee Stadium. The Yanks get their fourth straight, also their first three-game sweep of the season. They've also beaten Toronto five straight times for the first time since 86. One more the Sermon on the Mound. Because in the seventh, the last issue of defense in the whole game, we had home run derby. Bagwell, 10-6 Astros off Chris Nabholz. Brian Hickerson comes on in a review of every left-hander you've ever seen before. Two outs in the eighth. Then Alex Gonzalez singles to score Cangelosi and nearly send Hickerson into retirement. 11-4 Astros. Then Brian Hunter ground ball Todd Zeal. They played like a first baseman on that one. Can't come up with a 12-6 as service scores. Three batters later, bases loaded. Derek Bell unloads them. We're still in the eighth. We're still with two outs. Here comes Hunter. Here comes Biggio. Astros are up 15 to six. Jim Riggleman says, Hick, have a nice time out there. Craig Shipley meet Brian Hickerson. Here comes Bagwell. It's still the eighth inning. It's still two outs. 16 to six. The next batter is John Cangelos. You know what he's going to do? Hit a home run. He hit a home run. Kenjo, a three-run homer in the Astrodome. 19 to six. Everybody hits today. He can barely reach up to high-five his teammates. Orlando Miller gets our play of the day award here by making the last out of the inning or they'd still be playing. 19 to six, it is the Astros record. 19 runs, he also had 19 hits. The second is you join us.
Steve Scarson off the end of the mat. Foul one to see. He's the complete player, in my opinion, Dan. Great catch. Possible MVP in the future, I think. Bottom of the second. Here he is at bat. Oh, what a swing. Bat speed is unbelievable. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. one nothing, L.A., and then Candiotti looking for a second consecutive win, which has eluded him, but J.R. Phillips strikes out. We've never seen that again, or before. 11 strikeouts for Candy. Ninth inning. Giants need a man on with Bonds on deck. Mondesi says, no, sir, not here. Nice running catch. Dusty says, I, I remember when I played the outfield real well like that. The Dodgers' first four-game sweep of the Giants since April of 1980. Bases loaded, Brewers down one. David Hulse, the base hit, brings in Kevin Seitzer. Higginson shows off his gun. And BJ says, I'm impressed. Higginson's fourth assist in his last four games. Top seven tied at one, Pat Listash, former AL Rookie of the Year. Base knock brings in Jeff Cirillo. 2-1 Milwaukee. Listash, two RBIs. Bottom eight, 3-2 Brewers. Strategy time. Bases loaded. Phil Gorner does not go for his closer. Mike Fetter stays with Ron right now against Alan Trammell. Gone. Right here, right now, watching the world wake up from history. Wrong decision. 6-3 Tigers. Okay. Top nine, man aboard. Mike Henneman, Greg Vaughn. Gone. 13th save for Henneman, 6-3 Tigers. Tigers sweep the three-game series. Tigers hit 21 homers on their 13-game homestand. This was two runners aboard. Loesa gets Moise Alou to ground to Young, 5-4-3 double play. Still 1-0 Pirates. Jeff Facero pitching well, facing who else? Kevin Young. It's mandatory. He is in every highlight. Facero then gets Orlando Merced. Kevin Young was in the building. Esteban Loesa not happy being yanked, one nothing. The Pirate defense held for it. Bottom nine, runner second. Guess who? Kevin Young gets Moise Alou, gets his man. A scary moment, though, in this game. Darren Fletcher. The foul ball into the Montreal dugout. Carlos Perez deflected the ball with his hand, but the ball ricocheted off the back of the dugout, hitting Perez in the head. Perez was unconscious for about three minutes, taken off on a stretcher, was taken to the hospital. But we're happy to say he is not expected to miss his next start. Carlos Garcia's third inning single.